Yo, my name is Ryan. I play guitar in Story of the Year. That's my friend Josh over there with the Mickey Mouse shirt. Um, Josh plays drums. We have a new record out. It's called Wolves. Um, first new record in seven years. Shit feels fucking awesome. Um, my favorite record we've ever made. Um, so we're out here supporting it. No big deal. The shows are both sold out. Um, booking more. Yeah, excited for the future, man. Phase two. Phase two. This guitar, his name is Snake. Um, custom inlays. I had that heart that just kind of my personal philosophy. You do something, do it with you know, do it with heart, do it with passion, do it with fire. Um, headstock's been broke off twice, both times coincidentally in Las Vegas. Just some wood glue fixes right up. Uh, custom routed for a Floyd Rose. Sick. Um, yeah, this is my EMG pickups, 81s, 85s, uh, locking tuners. Um, yeah, this is like my, like when I have to riff, you know? Like this is kind of like the riff guitar, you know? Ernie Ball, been a spot, like supported our band since, you know, 12 years. Um, I use 10 to 52, the big bottoms. Uh, every string them for every show. I use them in the studio. I haven't used a different guitar string other than the Ernie Ball 10 to 52s in pretty much our whole career. So, yeah, that's what I do. That's what I use. Use them in the studio, live, everything. They've been amazing supporters of Story of the Year. Yeah, so this guitar, like I said, uh, I was being an asshole when I said I use it for wrist, but it's kind of the truth. Like our heavy songs, um, where I don't need anything but volume, that's uh, that's what this one is. Um, you know, so, like more like, I need more dynamics, a clean channel, like clean tones and stuff. I'll use this with the two pickups, all the different, you know, blah, blah, all that. Um, well, this has two pickups also, but, uh, you know, tone knobs and all that stuff. Um, yeah, this one, I just, this one's just all about rock and just all about going hard. So, all I need is a volume knob. I should also mention it's a PRS. Uh, that company has been absurdly good to me. Um, been using them since 2003. It's a PRS Custom 22. Check it out. Custom built for Ryan Phillips. Sweet. One of one. He wrote that on there though. Yeah, I wrote it myself. Uh, no, one of one, custom shop. Um, yeah, so everything I use in Story of the Year is 100% PRS. So yeah, basically on the new record, if I needed something with a whammy bar, like there's a couple, there's a guitar solo in How Can We Go On, that it goes, do you know me? There it is. One of the B-sides for Wolves, I use this for the guitar solo on. Um, in the wake of the termination, this got some use. Uh, I don't think I used it on the Constant or the Black Swan, but... Yeah, this is just like, this is just my heavy, my heavy rock out guitar, you know? It's my baby. I dance way too hard to not use wireless. I can't have a cable. Um, yeah, always wireless. I've been using the same Sure wireless <laughs> for easily a decade. I don't think this, actually, I don't think the model that I use is even legal to use anymore because the frequencies, I know I'm not supposed to use it, over, use it overseas, but I do anyway. Um, yeah. I've been on the same wireless unit for over a decade. Shit's ancient. I don't care it works. Cool. This is another uh, PRS custom shop, single cut 245. Um, so when we recorded with Elvis Basquette, he has a '74 Les Paul, I believe, painted in the same color. He he got the paint codes from an old '57 Chevy or something, and I played that guitar every day in the studio. We did uh, the Black Swan with him and the Constant with him. And I just like fell in love with the, the with the guitar, just how it looked. It's like this is like the raddest color, and it's awesome. So um, when I called my uh, my artist rep at PRS, and I was like, "Hey, let's get the paint codes off an old, you know, '50s era Chevy," you know. So I just went on Google and I found a, a Corvette or whatever. And I was like, "That's beautiful." And she actually called Chevy and got the paint codes for a '60s era Corvette and ordered the paint, and that's they painted that. I'm not, I don't fucking like Corvettes. I don't care about any of that shit, but it's just a beautiful color, and that was just my reference. Yeah, for the more, like, just rocks, you know, not the, like, you know, metal-leaning songs, more just, like, the rock songs or, like, the more uh, dialed-back songs. This is, like, my go-to guitar. Just these pickups have, like, a, they're pretty low gain, so it just has, like, a really good growl, um, which I, like, the older I get and the more I play, like, the more I appreciate less gain. You know, like just the tone coming from your hands and uh, as dorky as it sounds, like your heart and just putting emotion and feel into it. Like you don't need to hide behind all that gain. And these pickups are very clear. Um, 
and crisp and not super high gain. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll actually use uh, you know th this pickup up there, the rhythm pickup, actually um, on this guitar a lot. It just has a really good round tone, you know. This guitar just, dude, it it's per it intonates well. It uh, just has an awesome growl and an awesome breakup, and it's I just love the color. <laughs> Um, I use these, my bass player used to get, our old bass player used to get um, these big triangle picks. And I'd always throw mine out in the crowd and run out of them, so I'd grab his. And eventually I just started, I just fell in love. I, now I can't even use regular guitar picks, I have to use these big square ones. Um, I don't know, I just, I love how they feel. The tor uh, I get the Dunlop, Dunlop Tortex or just whatever company um, has something that's similar to the Tortex. Uh, I believe it's 80 millimeter. Um, 88 millimeter, yeah. Check it out. It's cool. Wolves. Yeah. But yeah, I use these big triangle picks, man. I love how they just fit in my hand. I love, I love how it feels. For this album, um, it has so many different textures and layers and tones, and it's a really dynamic album in a way that our others aren't. So it's like, well, to pull it off live, I gotta have the right tools, you know. So, uh, Line 6 is another company that's been extraordinarily generous and good to me, so um, I researched the Fractal, the Helix, you know, all, all, the, all those, and dude, that Helix, I was like, I'll try it, if it works, I'll keep it, if it doesn't, no hard feelings, whatever. Dude, that thing is fucking magical. It is awesome. Um, I still love how a tube amp feels, I still love, the, you know, I love like a real amp, you know? So the way I run it, I use the four cable method to where anything full distortion, my, just my main tone is my amp, but anything clean, any like half distortion, all effects, all that is my helix. So the, uh, you, you, know, you use the effects loop, you, you run it, uh, it's called the four cable method, you should just Google it. Um, but basically, say I want to have a clean channel, it basically bypasses the preamp on my amp and uses the preamp of the Helix. So if I want to like have a Vox AC30, I just use the power section of my amp and the preamp of the Vox AC30. But if I want to have like a full on distortion, it bypasses, uh, I mean it uses my actual real amp. So the Helix isn't my, I'm not modeling my main distortion tone, but anything clean, anything half distortion, all effects, all that stuff. And it sounds so dope and it's, it's just, uh, it's made us sound way better. That's awesome. Yeah, um, Blackstar, another company. Um, I use a Series 1 uh, 100 watt tube head. That's another company that's been really good to us. They sent me that head for free and uh, I really, really like it. It has an awesome growl, an awesome breakup. Um, it's just everything that wor it works for me really well. I love it. Um, I got the Digitech drop. Yesterday, this is my first time using it live. Just we have a song, you know, it's tuned down to B, and um, I play just really hard. Like I just, I get really into it, and I play really hard. And when you're tuned down that low, the strings get a little floppy and a little pitchy. So uh, I'm trying that drop pedal out. And hopefully it works. You know, hopefully it works as advertised. Yeah, uh, the noise presser. I don't use that because I feel like it kind of uh, cuts off my delays a little bit and can kind of alter my tone a little bit. Um, but sometimes you're in clubs where you have, you know, some, some issues with the sound, you know, stuff that like a ground lift can't fix or whatever, and that's when I use that. It's just when there's just hum that's unavoidable that you just, you know, there's just 30 power in the venue or whatever. So that works. Yes, we just released a brand new album, Wolves, our first album in seven years. Um, kind of put everything I've got into it, spent years writing it. Dan, oh my god, he nailed the lyrics so hard, he went so deep. Um, everything from the videos, to the artwork, to the music, to the, everything A to Z, we just put everything possible. Every ounce of effort we had into it, we crowdfunded the whole thing, self-released the whole thing, and it is, I'm so proud of it, I can't even, I can't even tell you, so. That's out, um, check our Instagram page. Uh, I believe we're at Story of the Year Band. Uh, same thing for Twitter. Um, Facebook, all that stuff. We're we're very active on it now. You know, we we took a five year hiatus, but we're back and we're posting daily and we're active and we got a lot in the works. Touring coming up, all kinds of content on the way, and it's a super 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 exciting time. Of really, I'm very inspired. I feel 
creatively uh, in the best place I've ever been in my whole life. And um, yeah, man, I put everything I got into this record and I'm fucking pumped.